O Lord, in this time, we acknowledge that you are here with us and that you are our good God. We humble ourselves before you. Sa oras ng ito, we pray that you would embrace and comfort each and every person who is here today, especially po ang family ni JR. Napakahirap po. Kawalan ng mahal sa buhay. It is so hard to lose a dearly loved one. And so that's why we ask right now, O Lord, that you would comfort us, that you would envelop us with your loving embrace, that you would fill us, Lord, with your joy. Kayo po ang pinanggagalingan ng aming kaligayahan at kapayapaan. The peace that comes from you. We pray that your peace and joy will be felt by each and every person in this place today. We thank you, Lord. By your grace, Lord God, we believe that our lives are in your hands and in you we find hope. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. On behalf po of my family, ako po, po, ako po si Pastor James de la Cruz, galing po kami sa Quezon City. On behalf of our family and the Life Giver Christian Family Ministries, where our church is situated, we sympathize with the family. With all of you, the family and the friends and the loved ones of JR. I'm here po at the request po of Tina. We, we have been meeting online since August of last year. And we have been journeying together in this season of grief. I did not have the opportunity to personally meet JR. Hindi ko siya nakilala. But from how Tina described his friends, a kind of individual with a very big heart and was always easy to be around. But what I appreciated the most about JR and what I want to highlight today in this short devotional is that JR was someone who valued his faith in God. He valued his faith in God and it is this fact that makes me hold on to the grace of God and the truth of God's word that those who have gone ahead of us, who put their trust in the Lord, is forever comforted in the presence of God. Naniniwala po ako na if we truly trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are comforted in His presence after our lives here on earth. This comforting truth of God's word, it has many implications for us who are still here. And as I share them to you, it is my prayer that they will bring peace and joy to our grieving hearts and encourage us to live on with a renewed sense of hope and joy that comes from the Lord. When I say po na I sympathize with you, I mean it with my heart. Kasi I also lost my father during the height of the lockdown season, although not because of COVID. Losing a loved one, hindi madulit. Never easy to navigate the loss of a loved one from him, not even death. And if we trust in this good shepherd, there is a guarantee for us that nothing will separate us from his love. Allow me to read to you Romans chapter 8, verse 35, and then 37 to 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The past years have been very difficult for all of us, in short. But know 
that for those who trust in the Lord, no amount of hardship or anything terrible in this broken world in which we live, even death itself, will separate us from the love of God that is expressed in Jesus Christ. I believe that it is this great love that J.R. himself held on to. Now, on account of these things, because the Lord is our shepherd and that nothing will separate us from the love of God, I want to share what the Bible tells us about believers in Jesus who have gone ahead. Ano ang sinasabi ng Biblia tungkol sa mga taong nagtiwala, naniwala at kumapit sa Panginoon? This is the assurance that we have in the Bible. Binasa po ito kanina ni Kuya Michael and I will read it again in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Sabi po dito, We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who have fallen asleep. Or in the Bible, it means those who have gone ahead of us, those who have died. That you may not grieve as others who have no hope. The Bible is actually telling us it's okay to grieve. It is okay to cry. It is okay to shout because of the pain, the incredible amount of pain we have in our hearts. But even, in we, even as we do that, we still have hope because we will see them again. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds. A wonderful reunion. To meet the Lord in the air. And so, we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another. These verses tell us that we can grieve with hope and that we ought to encourage one another. Bakit? Because in Christ, we have these two assurances. Number one, there's a promised resurrection. Muling pagkabuhay. Through Jesus, there is a promised resurrection for those who have put their faith in Him. God will bring with Him those who have fallen asleep. What did Jesus say in John 11? Nung binuhay niya si Lazarus, He was talking to Martha. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet he shall live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. But not only is there a promised resurrection, there is also a promised reunion. We will be caught up together with them in the clouds and meet the Lord. And so we will always be with the Lord with no possibility of separation. Yes, temporarily, we may not see. It is for those of us who have not yet done so, we need to trust in the Lord. We need to believe in our great shepherd, Jesus Christ, bilang ating Panginoon, as our Savior, and as our Lord. Secondly, we can respond through grieving. Sabi ko sa Bible, there is a time for everything. And today is a time for us to cry. Today is a time for us to mourn, to grieve. Pero there will come a time that we will feel comforted by the Lord. We grieve with hope because we know that our departed loved ones who trust Jesus will live again and be reunited with us. And finally, we can respond by growing strength from the Lord and from one another. It is a wonderful time to be here with people who are special and with people who love JR. Because in this situation, we can draw strength from one another. Ito yung opportunity that was robbed of us because of the COVID pandemic. We couldn't be together. But now we are here and now is the time for us to draw strength from one another. As I close, I want to read this wonderful verse from the book of Revelation, which gives us a glimpse 
of what will be when Christ when Christ returns for those who trust in Him. In Revelation chapter 21, the last book of the Bible, the Bible ends in such a very wonderful tone. 21, Revelation 21 verse 4 to 5, it says, He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Kakawiin ng Panginoon ang ating mga luha. Death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne, Jesus Christ, says this, I am making all things new. Habang nandito po tayo sa mundong ito, while we are here in this earth, Everything has a deadline. Everything has an expiry date. However, when Jesus Christ returns, He will make all things new and perfect. He will wipe away our tears. He will end all suffering. No more pain, no more sickness, no more pandemic, just pure joy and peace. We need to trust in our God. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time, this wonderful opportunity to draw strength from one another, but more importantly, to draw strength from you and from the Word of God and what the Bible is telling us about those who have trust in you. Oh Lord, we pray today that we will have the same kind of faith and trust that we put our lives into your hands as our great shepherd. You are our great shepherd. Today, we acknowledge you in our lives. Be our Lord. Be our Savior, for we cannot save ourselves. 